check out this hair. During cancer, I didn't feel beautiful at all. I lost my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I did start losing my hair from a Braxane, which was an infusion chemo. I brushed my hair and it was just coming out in clumps. But on the other hand, I never, I guess, thought of myself as beautiful. My second chemo, I had lost my hair and not feeling great, so I had a hat on. Check out this hair. Whoop, 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 whoop. Our bra is a fashion fundraiser for the Breast Cancer Resource Center. Women who have had breast cancer model the bras. We're all survivors. I was 23 years old and diagnosed with breast cancer. I honestly just went into shock right away. I was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. So it's not just in my breast anymore. Besides the spine and my bones, it had spread into my brain. I had a double mastectomy in September of 2015. To look at myself with no breasts, no hair, no eyebrows, no eyelashes is a terrible feeling that I wouldn't wish upon anybody. Only 22% of people diagnosed with stage four breast cancer actually make it past five years. Okay. Remember, you're braver than everybody watching you, okay? You've already done the scary stuff. Yeah. It's one thing to think, well, really anyone could die at any moment, but when it's such a real possibility, when it's such a concrete thing in you and that everything that you feel, all the different aches and pains, it might actually be the cancer. It's a scarier feeling. Art Bra Austin 2017 starts now. Since I was diagnosed, every day that I've fought and every day that I've chosen to do something life-affirming, every day has helped me feel more beautiful. She says her experience with cancer has taught her to live larger, love deeper, and never take one day for granted. She never friendship as a result of a cancer diagnosis. It doesn't matter if you have breasts, if you don't have breasts, if you have hair or not. I feel beautiful to myself and that's all that really matters to me.